Hello, this is Brett Etheridge, founder of Dominate the GMAT, here with your GMAT tip of the week. The tip for this week I call driving through the fog with headlights. Here's what I mean by that. On the GMAT, sometimes you're going to look at a question on your screen and you're not going to immediately know how to do it. You can't quite see the destination. And a lot of times students will freeze up when that happens, especially if it's a more difficult word problem, for example, a math word problem. But the tip is, drive through the fog with headlights. I love this analogy, because think about it. Let's say you're driving through the fog, and you can't really see your destination, right? How far can you see? Well, you can see just as far as your headlights will allow you to see. But guess what? If you continue to drive only as far as your headlights enable you to see, can you eventually still get all the way to the destination? Absolutely. And you want to do the same thing on the GMAT. A lot of times students expect to immediately see how the entire problem is going to unfold. And when that doesn't happen, they start to freak out. But why don't you drive just as far as the headlights will enable you to? Or why don't you do what you can? And sometimes if you incrementally keep doing what you can, all of a sudden you get all the way to the destination, to a right answer. Consider, for example, this example. Here we see a sample GMAT word problem from the GMAT Review Official Guide. Go ahead and press pause, see how you do on this problem. But I think it's a perfect candidate for this type of a strategy because it can be difficult. When you look at this, you might think to yourself, what do I do? Well, what if we do a little bit? What if you say, you know, I'm not sure I can get all the way to the destination, but here's what I can do. I can definitely start by drawing out what's going on, right? So we're starting here at the parking lot, and here's what I do now. I've run south for 3.25 miles, right? And using your scratch paper is a great way to drive just as far as the headlights enable you to go. Write down what you do now. So there we go. Okay, so we're getting our mind around the problem a little bit. And then what does it say after that? Well, it says, okay, he wants to keep running for 50 minutes, right? So, okay, what can I do? Well, let me write that down at least. You know, time. Time is going to equal 50 minutes. Okay, well, what else? Well, you can continue your picture. Okay, what else can I do? Well, I know I'm going to run south a little bit further, and then I'm going to turn around, and then I'm going to run all the way back to the starting point. Okay, so this is the picture. You're starting to get a better idea. Huh, what else do I know? What else do you know? What else can you do? Well, I might not know how it's going to all unfold, but I do know that at some point, I'm probably going to have to use the distance rate time formula. Ah, I do know that, right? So maybe if I put that down on my scratch paper, the distance equals rate times time, I can start to look at that and say, oh, okay, well, look at this, interesting. I've already written down 50 miles, right, or 50 minutes. So that's how much longer I'm going to do. What else does the problem tell me? Ah, the problem also tells me a rate. The rate is 8 minutes per mile, right? And so all of a sudden you start to see the pieces of the puzzle fall into place as you do just what the problem uh, is telling you to do. So I think this is a great strategy to move the ball down the court, do what you can do, and as the pieces start to fall into place, sometimes you can see a little bit further down the road, a little bit further down the road, and here all of a sudden we're going to be in a situation where we can figure out exactly how much further he needs to run in those 50 minutes to get back to the parking lot, and you can get a right answer from there. So that's my strategy. Keep that analogy in your mind. Drive through the fogs, fog with headlights on. Do what you can, and you just might get all the way to the end of the destination. For more tips like this, visit dominatethegmat.com blog, and I hope you are able to dominate the GMAT.